Hello creepy friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing the setup for my April 2024 reading journal. Originally, I wanted to use this notebook from Cognitive Surplus as the inspiration for my theme this month. I thought it would be really cool to use black paper and then gel pens or acrylic paint pens to do the mushrooms and make it look like they're glowing. Unfortunately, it's not possible to get this look with acrylic paint pens because you can't blend them, and I don't have gouache or watercolor or anything else to blend with, so I had to abandon that idea for the theme. But I still really wanted to use the same color theme and use black paper, so after thinking about it for a while, I decided that doing a firefly theme would fit with this color scheme, and I should be able to do it correctly with acrylic paint pens. So, let's get started. Here I'm beginning the illustration for the title page. And what you can't see off camera is that I am working off of a photograph, but it's copyrighted so I can't share it with you here. However, you can see to the left side of the screen, my sample picture where I practiced it is laying on the table. So that kind of gives you a sort of an idea of what I'm going for here. The photograph is of the forest at night with a whole bunch of fireflies, and the trees are in silhouette, so they just look black. To get this effect, what I'm doing is I'm using the bigger side of my acrylic paint pens, and I'm using several different colors of green and yellow to build it up. Kind of doing a little bit of pointillism here. So I used the darkest color first, then I went over it again with the next lightest color. Now I'm going in with kind of a yellowish greenish color to make it look like highlights. And then the last layer is gold, which I am doing now. And I cut out a lot of footage here. Although this is not a difficult technique, it takes a really long time. You need to do what feels like a million dots in order to build up all the colors on top of each other and get the depth that you want. And now I'm just putting the silhouettes of the trees with my black acrylic paint marker. Then to finish up the trees, I'm just doing a little bit more black dots at the top to make the impression of leaves. In the foreground of the picture, I'm putting some large gold dots, and this is to imitate the look of when the fireflies are flying close to the camera in the photograph. Then I added a gold border to the picture and cut it out so that I could glue it into my notebook a little bit later. Moving along to the calendar page, what I wanted to do here was put the calendar at the top of the page and then at the bottom I'm going to do an illustration of a canning jar with some fireflies in it and they're starting to fly up out of the top of the jar. I'm now using gel pens instead of the acrylic paint pens that I used for the first picture. And here I'm just using a black acrylic paint pen to fix one of my mistakes. This calendar is where I mark off all the days that I read each book and then I can see how long it took me to read everything. This is the first time that I've used gel pens for something and as you can see I'm having a little bit of difficulty with them. Sometimes too much ink comes out, sometimes not enough. They weren't really smooth to use. I don't know if that was this particular brand or if that's generally something that happens with gel pens. Then I'm using the same colors of acrylic paint pens that I used on the first photograph to do the fireflies in the jar. As always, there are links to all the materials that I used in the description box below.
Here I'm using the white gel pen to do a little more detail on the fireflies since we're closer up. So I'm putting the wings and antennae on them. This didn't end up looking as good as I had expected it to. It looks better when you do this on white paper and you use a black pen, but oh well, I think it looks okay. It's good enough. And I just snuck a couple of mushrooms in here. Since that's originally what I wanted my theme to be, I couldn't resist putting a couple in this spread. So I'm just using that same chartreuse color of acrylic paint pen to do that. And then I'll use black ballpoint pen to do the details on the mushrooms. After I glued these two pictures into my notebook, I started working on the frame for this picture on the title page. And I wanted it to have like a fancy gold frame on it so that it looks like a picture hanging on a wall. Then you'll see me going in and doing the April title using the darkest green color that I used in the first picture. And I'm just using an, a script font. Moving on to the next spread, here the left hand page is going to be my statistics page and then the right hand page will be where I paste in all the book covers of the books I read in April. So for the statistics page I just cut out a bunch of different shapes in the black paper and I'm going to decorate these with gold and make them all look like they have fancy picture frames and it'll look like a little gallery. Once the month of April is done, I'll come back to this page and I'll put all my monthly reading stats inside of these frames. And I thought it would be a nice touch to come in with this medium green color and add a little bit of patina to a couple of these picture frames. And then in a second you'll see me just using a ballpoint pen to put some wires behind these frames so it makes it look like they're hanging on the wall. For the book cover page, I thought I need to bring some more jars in so that I'm consistent with the rest of the spreads. So I put two more jars here. One of them is going to have fireflies in it again, just smaller. And then the bottle shaped one is going to have a little sprig of foliage sticking out of it. 
I wanted to give you a little bit of information about fireflies since not everybody will have seen them before. One of the places you can find them is the east coast of the United States in the summertime when it's humid and warm. And they're a type of beetle that comes out during dusk when it's starting to get dark. And the males have a bioluminescence, so they glow and flash and fly around to try to attract females. And one of the pastimes when I was a kid growing up is to run around and catch them in your hands and then put them in a jar so you can look at them and then let them go when you're done. Finally, I am creating the book review spread, and there's room for six books here. If I read more than six books in April, I will make another spread that's identical to this one. And I wanted this to be more simple since it took so long to do the first two spreads. And I'm gonna have a lot of writing here, so I didn't want it to be too busy. So this is just going to be simple black boxes with gold frame and then a little bit of those different colored dots in the upper left and bottom right corners. Now let's do our final flip through so you can see everything finished up. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed yourself, please like and subscribe and join me on my other social media on Instagram and everything else. My handle is at biblio underscore creep. Join me a week from now for my April bullet journal setup and that will be a simplified version of the same theme. So that'll also be fireflies using just one marker and two pens. As we move into the second half of March, remember to be kind to yourself, drink your water, take a minute to do something that brings you joy, and have a great week. I hope you'll join me in the next one. Bye.